Hi. Today I'm going to make my um, mean meatloaf. It's a mixture of tomato sauce and ketchup, breadcrumbs. So let's get going. First I added one egg and I poured about half a cup of water into the egg. And we're going to mix that around a little bit. And once that's all mixed, I'm going to add plain breadcrumbs. Usually about half a cup of that, but you judge as you're mixing, make sure it's not too thin and not too thick. Sort of in between. Okay, now that I got the dog quieted down, we'll start again. Now after that's all mixed, we're going to add a little bit of, just a spoonful of ketchup, spoonful of ketchup into there. I'm going to save the other half of the ketchup to spread on the top after. Then we're going to add a little garlic powder, a little pepper, and some onion powder, we're going to mix that around, get that well blended, and once that's well blended, we're going to add just enough tomato sauce, just to cover the top slightly, there we go, the remaining tomato sauce will be poured over the top when it's almost done, which we will add some more sauces, seasonings to. To the sauce rather. Let me blend this really good. Okay, that's nice and blended. Now we're going to add uh, one pound of ground sirloin. Get that in there. Now you mix this as best you can all the way through the breadcrumb mixture. And I'm going to wash my hands and mix it with my hands. It's so much easier. Now once that's all mixed, you take a little bit of <clears throat> remaining breadcrumbs and you just just a little sprinkle and you spread that around now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it into a pan it doesn't have to be a meatloaf pan I don't know why people still use those. The shape's not going to disappear once you make it. Still, and I want to add sauce around it and my onions after. So we'll get that sorted out and shaped. I'm going to put this into a preheated 350 oven. Let that get all brown and halfway through the cooking 
we will put the rest of the ingredients around it. Now we'll go back to tomato sauce and add some flavorings, garlic, onion, and pepper. Mix that around. Oops. I am messy, I know. And then add some onion into there. And this, when it's halfway done, will be poured over the meatloaf. And then we will spread on top of the meatloaf, we will sprinkle more breadcrumbs, and we will spread the remaining ketchup. And when the finished product's done, I'll let you see it. Now that it's almost done, well, halfway done, I'm going to add, I'm going to pour all the tomato sauce with the onion mixture over the top. And around the sides. Get all this out of there. Kind of spread this around a little bit. I don't want too much on the top because I want to add my ketchup and sprinkle some breadcrumbs across that. to add some ketchup just lightly over the top and when this is done you can add a baked potato maybe some corn on the cob and enjoy I remember my sisters always wanted me to make this for them. They loved it. They can probably make their own now. Well, that's about enough of that. <clears throat> I put this back in and let it crisp up a little on top. And we'll see what it looks like when it's finished. And here's the finished meatloaf with tomato sauce and onion around the sides. And believe me, it tastes delicious. Enjoy. Have a good day.